Hello everyone, welcome back to Motion RC Live, and this week it's going to be James and Alex on uh, Q here talking about some products that uh, we've been playing with over the past uh, couple of days here. You've seen some of the videos now on the uh, Hobby Plus products. Um, more of those are coming for each individual one, so we're going to talk about those today because I can sort of get into them. They each have their little differences and they're fun, but um, the two big things in the room got here and uh you might have seen i posted some shorts as i unboxed them uh just yesterday uh unbelievable right now to have the uss missouri and the titanic uh on the table from bancroft two ships i've been dying to get my hands on they're just so good looking obviously pricey but the price is worth it when you see the level of detail on these and the fact that you just pull them out of the box and uh you know, plug them in and, you know, they're RC capable. That's even better. They look like scale models. Um, and the fact that they'll work on the water is awesome. I'm probably only going to put them on the water once and then probably never take them out on the water again because they just look so good. I don't want to risk it, but uh, we're excited. We're going to take them out tomorrow. So today we're just going to go over. I see some people in the chat. Vic, what's up? Mike Bird, how you doing? Jose, how's everything? And uh, yeah, we're going to go for as long as we got to go today um, with these weekly lives when they're not the main uh, live show that we do. Uh, we just go for as long as we need to, you know, just show you new things that are on the website. We got a lot of things going on between Wes and Lori down in Florida and uh, me and Alex here outside of Atlanta. Um, we're always playing with something. So real quick before we get, I think we'll start with the crawlers. Um, so I'll move the ships out of the side, but I just want to show you because you can't get them all, you know, unless I use the really wide lens and then it just looks awkward. Um, <clears throat> I want to just pick one up here and just show you the size of these things. So. Both of these ships are 200 scale. So check out the Titanic. And again, out of the box, this is how it comes. Um, well, don't even roll the footage yet because we'll get into that uh, in a little bit. But unbelievable. When I saw it out of the box, it just looked absolutely stunning. And uh, again, it comes virtually all completed with this one. All you're doing is just attaching some of the rigging. Um, all the rigging is already, you know, mostly attached. They just have parts of it laying on the side, and then you just got to clip them in um, when you're ready to go. And then the Missouri itself, also another stunner as far as the level of detail. I mean, all the guns on it, uh, you know, the gun, the turrets, they'll move the big ones and everything. Um, not, not servo driven, but uh, just all around. Man, that's like a mantelpiece. If you're into... You know, if you're into boats or you're just into World War II, putting this above the fireplace, uh, it's absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I'm excited to uh, I'm excited to get them out to the lake. We plan on taking these out tomorrow, which will be awesome. And uh, I also, you might have seen, uh, you know, I did the differential thrust video the other day for the Twin Otter. She's ready to go. So we're going to take that to the lake too. So it's going to be a bit of both, a little flying little boating i'm just gonna move those off to the side and then in front of me are all these awesome crawlers we got from hobby plus now most of the options are here at least one of each and then a few of them they had sent me just one with the two different bot with different bodies let me grab these because uh this one the 24 scale will come either in yellow greenish and or the blue we've got the pickup truck has two color options. They just sent me the bodies, and the uh, Jeep has two color options. So they're pretty, uh, they're pretty cool. And we had a good time with these uh, out driving around. So wanted to uh, bust into a couple of them because they all have their own little neat features. Most importantly, I think they all, you know, fully functional. They all have a ton now available. All the spare parts are online um, for them, and there's a lot of upgrade parts too. So these are you know, cheapish crawlers that you can advance with and uh, size really well. All these, all the four um, that you see here are 18th scale and then their newest one is the 24th scale. Uh, so a little smaller, but functions just as well. Um, this is the G armor and they're, they're great size. Personally, I really, I dig the, I dig the rock van myself. I think the rock van looks fantastic. Um, having it out, I kind of dig that, like, reminds me of, like, the mystery machine. Uh, Mike Berg, yes, they are all 2S. They're all ready to run. So, uh, the 18th scale come with a 600 milliamp 2S pack, and the 24th scale comes with a 360 milliamp, 
uh, 2S pack. So that's the only difference. But you could put the, you know, whatever milliamp size pack you want. But yes, they're all 2S capable. And they all have, you know, a great bit of functionality. Again, a lot of, they all have lights, which are great. And different versions, uh, the lights do different things. Like on the rock van, when you turn, they're going to have blinkers. They have rear lights, headlights, um, things like that, which are really cool. But just really fun to play around with because you could play with them both, you know, even in the videos we showed, you know, we were doing it. Yes, yeah, Scooby-Doo, right? I mean, that's that's exactly what I thought of. Like, I want to paint up the rock band like the Scooby-Doo mystery machine. Um, I always like the kooky stuff. And uh, yeah, that works for me. And then uh, what's it called? The best thing about these two, not just for outdoor use, like we took them to the local park, just around hiking trails, you know, as you see. And then... Uh, you could also play with them indoors. You know, we were driving them up pillows, over the couches, you know, all different play. You could play with these uh, indoors as well because of their size, you know. They are they really do crawl. Nice, soft tires on all of them as well. And I'll show you that after uh, we cut from the B-roll here. But it all looks really good. Oh, shoot, Matt's here. What's up, man? What's we going on? We were just, that's so funny. Yeah, Alex was... Ali, we were remembering uh, when you were, we were trying to drift some uh, different RC cars and remembered Matt drifting his Miata across the runway. We were talking about yesterday, so that's so funny. Maybe you, uh, maybe you heard of us. Maybe you heard it in your head somehow. <laughs> but uh, good to see you, Matt. I hope everything's well. My bird. Yeah, it's great. All weather. Yeah, they're waterproof. That's what's awesome about these two. There's waterproof electronics. You know, I wouldn't submerge it in a pool or anything um, for long periods of time, but you can definitely traverse through the water. And there's a lot of upgradable parts on uh, these crawlers, which is great. You're back to me? Yes. All right, we're back to me. So, um, you know, most of the tires all the same, but you can see really soft and squishy. Um, what you want with crawlers. So you're going to get a lot of traction when you... Uh, you know when you're when you're climbing them and they really have a great level of detail and some of the features like with the conqueror here what i like about these um this one per se you don't need uh you don't have body clips so you can just lift up to get access inside uh now that you'll see when when this video comes out because we have an individual video for each for each type but you can lift up, you can get in there for your battery, you can get in there for the switch, you can get in there for, for little things. But if you ever need to take this fully off, there's just two screws that will, uh, you know, that will allow you to take that off. And again, they come in two options, like a glossy grayish blue and the, the camo, which is more of a matte finish. Both look nice and clean. And that's a functional spare tire that's attached to the back. And all around, again, really, really good looking for the price that uh, they're offered at too. You know, they're inexpensive when it comes to that. Then the uh, Trail Hunters, both also equally awesome. They look really cool. Now these, you don't need access to the front. You just plug in your battery here. The only reason you need to get in to uh, into the front compartment is if something breaks and you need to, you know, make a fix. So then you would just use the included screwdriver and you could take this top right off you get access to the uh receiver the control board in there but for the most part you just lift up this back part i don't have a battery in this one but there is always fun when you're doing it live there you go this compartment comes off and then your battery is just going to fit right in there uh on the back so it's like you know both function and and feature which is nice and you're on off switch on the trail hunters right on the side so Again, looking, do I have a battery? I don't have the battery in this one. I must have the battery in this one. Yeah. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to plug them in and drive it around. I guess I can. But we were just, there's plenty of videos coming on all of these for sure. Then you have the Kratos. So this, uh, like the Jeep, looks like a four-door Jeep. I guess Wrangler Cherokee-ish. But uh, comes in either yellow. So you get it in either yellow. And you see how they attach the uh, LEDs on it so that's the same as the red but when you come out of the box it's just going to come all attached so they just sent me the extra body so we can get video for both looks but then this one a little different this one again no body clips to come off this one has like a little a little tab on the front that will lock in underneath and then you can lift the body so it's attached on the back similar to the other one and you don't want to go too hard because 
there the LEDs are attached, but there's a lot of extra options um, on the board inside. So if you want to plug in more lights, maybe you want to add, you know, lights at the top. Uh, you have the option to do all that. And then just looking inside, they look, again, they look really nice, really clean. Battery compartment, nice and easy to get a battery in the back. Um, really simple and uh, looks really well doing it. You know, I funny, I would never, I never got a chance to crawl too much. We got to like make a crawler course and uh, take them around. But awesome. The Harvest, this is like pickup truck. I don't know if I like the name Harvest, but hey, we'll roll with it. This one is for body clips. So this one, I guess, based on the way it looks, this one's not going to be able to go up and down. Oh, and then Bill says the receiver's also FPV ready. Now we're talking. So that's that's interesting enough in zone. I don't know where you'd mount the FPV camera on it, but if you want to FPV crawl, the then, uh, yeah, I mean, if you could get it behind the windshield, that would be ideal. But uh, either way, that's interesting that they are FPV ready. I saw that. I don't have an FPV option to attach, but eventually I guess I'll have to do it. But then the newest ones, so these have been available for some time, I believe, but the newest ones are the Rock Vans and the G-Armor. So uh, again, the Rock Vans, to me, just, this is my favorite one, uh, the beige, the 70s style Rock Van, something out of like a movie. But again, this one um, does have body clips. There's two clips underneath. And then the body will lift up, so I can do that here. So you got the standard clips. And we all use our mouth for these things, I'm sure. And then the body will lift up, and you've got a ton of access. And again, if you want to take it off, there's two screws in the front where you could fully remove it. But again, easy access uh, with just two clips. And, you know, the boards are all the same inside. Battery placement's easy. Nice, clean you know, everything again, waterproof. So, uh, really just well functioned. Like I, we took the, these two, we didn't actually want to cr I didn't crawl in the dirt. We were just crawling around the, the parking lot with these. Cause I didn't want to, I didn't want to mess up the top. I didn't want to, I didn't want to destroy it before we finished the video and, uh, showed it to you or do any, do any damage to it. Cause I really like, I really like these ones, but, uh, all around I like I like the functionality of them so then that will just there's two little spots that go in and then we could put our clips back on and get rocking and rolling I can never do I'm not doing this live I'm not doing it live I never could do it takes forever to do these type of things and then the uh, the G armor so this one has four body clips up top and we can take a look inside and again, you get this, and I'm colorblind, so if this is like, it's a green, right? It's lime. It's lime. Yeah, because that's yellow. Yeah. See, when I do that, okay, now it's, all right. Yeah. Now I can see that. But when I just look at it sometimes, I'm seeing more yellow than lime. And of course, my fat thumbs. Can't grab these things. Let's take a look inside. So this is the, I don't know if it's the first 24 scale one that they made, but um, again, Really nice and clean, just everything in a bit of a smaller scale, but you're still getting the same squishy tires. Great springs, and uh, two of them, actually, the Kratos and the Harvest, come with a, an extra set of springs, but they're not spare parts. They're like harder springs, like they, they, they have softer springs installed, but if you, you, know, you want to fine-tune it, you can fine-tune them with uh, some harder springs on there. But again, check each product uh, page individually and you could see the list of spare parts you could see a list of upgrade parts all in the tabs and all the videos right now are viewable on the product pages we're going to release them um over time i didn't want to bombard our youtube viewers with you know six six crawler videos back to back to back to back so uh, i think the next one will be tomorrow and it'll be the rock van and then uh over the next couple days you'll see more of these if you're interested because again they're uh you know i don't want to say cheap they're priced they're priced well for uh what they got you get a lot of functionality and features in them and uh all around i was excited to have them to be able to uh play so these are all cool as far as wes and Lori this week they are prepping i know they got out and flew yesterday wes took up the dago and then he took the flight line bearcat they were doing some flying and then this weekend they're going to uh 
be hanging out with the Cletus uh, crew again. The Freedom at the Freedom Factory. There's a race there, so they're going to be set up down there again. Um, you know, they've been digging, digging what's going on down there, so they'll be doing that. So I said it's my turn this week to go live. And then next Friday we'll be back, all four of us, for our regular live show. And uh, I saw in the customer community, man, we got a lot of really cool custom schemes to show. We might have to give out a gift card or maybe we'll spin the wheel next week. I'll have to talk to, uh, you know, our higher up, maybe spin the wheel and we have everybody vote on who would, I can't get the clip in. I'm, I'm trying to do it live. I hate doing these. I'm I hate doing those clips we'll live. Take all four pins and have people guess how long it's going to take <laughs> to get it No, uh, you know what? I'm putting it in. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. It's just I have fat thumbs, man. I need like a, there we go. Come on. There it is. All right. Okay. We're in. Now it's not going. But all around, super cool. I'm excited. I was excited to get these. When you get them out of the box, again, they all come out of the box as you see them. So you're just going to pull it out. You're going to charge it up with a, let me show you here. So they give you the, you know, your typical USB charger where you charge it through the balance port. And then you've got a 600 milliamp uh, 2S, 2S LiPo. So you just charge it. That way takes, you know, an hour or two, whatever, uh, depending. But you do get, I mean, we filmed everything we needed to film on each one with one battery. And then for the ones where I had to change the tops just to get extra footage, we were able to drive both of them around enough on just one pack. I didn't even have to charge them up out there. So, you know, I don't know how long you guys typically crawl, but you're probably going to get 25 to 30 minutes on one of these if you're just doing your standard crawling, you know. So, which is cool. And then each one comes with uh, the transmitter. Looks like this. Again, simple, but all the functionality that you'd expect on a, on a car transmitter. So you'll have your on-off switch. You'll have the ability to reverse the steering, reverse the throttle in case it's reversed. Um, when you get it, you got the ability to rebind it with the bind button. And then you've got steering, dual rates, throttle, dual rate, and then trim, steering, trim, throttle. And then on the side, you've got switches, and the uh, the channel four switch is what can turn the brightness on a lot of the cars up and down. And again, I want to direct you to the individual videos on the product page because we show a lot of that stuff. But um, uh, yeah, each transmitter comes like this. So again, and that's the one thing about doing this. I always get a slew of of transmitters that. I have so many of these ready to run transmitters all over the place. I've got to always have them labeled and put away between all the, over the years, between all the planes and everything. Uh, this is going on. Matt, are we going to be at Null this year? Um, I think we're going to go for a couple days, but we're not doing the whole vendor tent thing. We like to just go, man, with the camera. You know how we do it. It's so much better to just be filming other people fly. So we'll bring some planes and... Uh, bring the cameras and just sort of hang out on the flight line. We did that last year and we had a great time doing that. Was it last year? I think it was last year. Was it the year before? Yeah, I forget now. I think it was last year. It we went for a couple days. Yeah, we went with a couple days. We went for a couple days with Wes. Yep. And uh, yeah, we just sort of pulled up on the side and it's great. So, and I got family now. My parents live close to Joe Nile now. So, uh, you know, I got a place where I can, you know, I don't have to sleep in a tent, which is nice. I always <laughs> enjoy that I could go somewhere else at night, which is fun. But, uh, yeah, surface vehicles do not always survive the video shoot. Well, these would. I mean, they're crawlers. But, you know, if you're asking me to jump big stuff, it's not going to survive that long. You did you do the cameraman sometimes. <laughs> and then uh, I'm trying to get down there with some electric motorcycles. That would be cool. We see a lot of those. Well, at least electric bikes. I'd love bikes. To demo them for you there, Matt. Yeah, there was a there was a guy there yesterday. Yeah, we'll have what we'll have Alex demo them. Um, but people had a lot of electric bikes riding around there. You know, it's always always good to have that kind of transport. You need the transportation at Jonal. Um, if you're gonna go, it's good to either rent the golf cart or because last year actually they didn't run the buses. They used to run the buses. I don't think they run the buses anymore. So or they're just running golf carts now back and forth. So it's not as, uh, I guess, not as dusty. Remember how dusty it gets oh. with, all those, with all those buses going up and down on the, hot, on the hot days. So let me put some of this stuff down for a second. You know, I'll put the case covers in here. I want to get this off because I do, 
I do want to show off the boats because I'm so stoked to have to have these big boats in front of me. You want me to roll the B roll while you do this? Uh, you can do that. Yeah, let's uh do the Missouri first. So. You see, this was yesterday. I just set up the camera, and I want to show you how they come. So I cut the box off just to show you how you should expect to receive any Bancroft boat that I've I've gotten now, from the landing craft to the the Coast Guard cutter behind me, the patrol boat. They all come wrapped in foam. Like there should be like it was funny. The UPS person, you know, said this side up. It was upside down on my front porch. I'm like, of course. So I was nervous, but. Man, it would you'd be hard pressed to hurt these things based on the way they box them up with all that foam there. Uh, they do a really good job of uh, making sure you know it's well protected because they are a good amount of money and they should come out of the box looking perfect when you get them. And these two did, so I was thrilled about that. And again, you get your transmitter. It looks like an aircraft transmitter. They give you a little wood stand that you have to put together. And then for the Missouri, the only things I had to attach were the four guns. Um, and I'll show you here live. But the oh, you'll see. I believe I put it on there. But there's four guns that hide the screws underneath so that you can remove the top and get access inside. So those are the only ones. And, and they don't even get glued in or anything. You, you don't want to glue them in, obviously, because you need to get in and out. To replace your battery so they sort of press in but you'd have no reason for them to ever uh for them to ever uh come out here we go so there we go so yeah these these turrets you take it right off just like a wood dowel and then they give you the little allen key to get in there so there's four screws for this one that you just have to undo very quickly and it comes off with the missouri you didn't have to you didn't have to uh, do any of the rigging. The rigging's done. There was nothing really in the way. This one actually is easier to handle like because I had the Yamato. I had taken that to Jonal last year, and uh, Wesley has that in hand now. That one had a little more uh, stuff uh, rigging-wise, but the Missouri is, I guess, a little simpler, but a lot more artillery on this thing, <laughs> which is which is really awesome. Or Nagato, I'm sorry, we had the Nagato, not the Yamato. I have not gotten the Yamato yet, but taking a look inside, this one runs with four motors, so there's four screws uh, on the back, which is awesome. And again, all pre-assembled, all ready to go. So the only thing you're gonna need, uh, the only, you want, <laughs> cue the Celine Dion when you bust out the Titanic, I know, right? I had to do it, I did that on uh, YouTube short. I, I couldn't help myself when I saw the Tannic. But you see inside, you got the ESC all attached, the, the receiver on-off switch right there uh, in front, all attached nicely. The only thing I'm going to do is actually right after this live show, I'm going to go fill up a bathtub and I'm going to ballast it So because I don't know, I don't know uh, how much I'm going to need. So I bought some BBs at uh, Walmart and then you just fill them. I found it best to just fill up a, a Ziploc bag full of BBs and, you know, drop it in there. Keep filling it up until you see, because obviously I want to get the uh, the boat should sit where the red is underwater and the gray is above the water. So I want to get it right to that point and then we're good to go. And then make sure it's not leaning in either direction. And then other than that, I mean, putting it in the water and driving it around, I'm going to try to drive it a lot more scale than I drove the cutter. I got to get the cutter back out there because, I don't know, I was just, I was rocking and rolling at full throttle and the water was... For media people. <laughs> for media people. We saw those the weight coming over the side of the boat and I'm like, this is just too cool. And then everybody called us out. They're like, that's that's way not scale. I'm like, I, I don't know. I'm, I'll drive it around full throttle for a little bit. I'm sure it's going to go a lot faster than it needs to. Um, but overall really cool. Now I could totally see guys, um, you know, if you're going to get this and take the time, you could easily, I'm sure, uh, manipulate and get some of these guns moving on their own with a servo. I'm sure guys can do that. I will not be doing that. Um, but you know, they just, I mean, from everything on, like just the detail, like, I mean, I, should, I showed you on the B roll, but look at like, these are all like metal, um, all the decking is is hardwood um, all the fiberglass inside it's it's packed with features the only thing missing from this are scale 
navy men all around and i'm sure modelers can make that happen too to have to see guys on the deck would be would be cool um addition the only things you had to put on were the two american flags they give you so and one they gave you which is wavy and one they gave you which is flat it didn't tell you where to go where to put them so i i just guessed and went with it <laughs> i think it i think it worked well but uh you know, you got the aircraft on the back on the on the launchers. Just man, unbelievable, unbelievable for what it is. Good weight to it too. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm kind of in awe of it. These are you know some of the coolest things I've ever unboxed uh, in my hobby time. Have been the detail and craftsmanship on these type of uh, models. So uh, the USS Missouri. Unbelievable. If you're into World War II, if you, if you like this sort of stuff, you can't go wrong. Um, you're not going to be disappointed grabbing one of these when you see it uh, in person. You're going to love it. And man, like this one, I would, I would, if it was my own, I would put it on the mantle, but it's not my own. But hopefully if I do go, to, when we do go to Jonal, I'm totally going to bring these two uh, to drive around the lake over there for people to see it. Because I think people need to see these up close to really appreciate them and then let's bring over the titanic because you're here there's nothing i fear <laughs> and you know we all know jack should have lived he could have fit on that on that piece of wood for sure there was no reason he needed to go but uh again the titanic uh obviously a smaller ship in real life so at 200 scale the details are a little more pronounced on this one but um, let's roll the B-roll of it because uh, there is just some some cool, cool things they did to get access because now this one has a lot more rigging. Um, I'm no expert on why the rigging is what it is, at least the one across the top, but you can remove the, uh, you could get access inside without having to remove the top rigging, which is kind of cool. But you can see in the box, I mean, take a look. Again, nothing was broken on this. Nothing was moved. You couldn't, I feel like I could bang it with a bat, uh, the box, and you're not going to hurt the model. So I don't think you have to be nervous about it being shipped. Even if your box is going to have damage, it would have to be excessive damage to, uh, to really hurt it because there's a lot of that foam all around. And just carefully take it out. There's uh, the, the foam at the bottom underneath the boat uh, has a, you know, has a gap in it that you can, you know, pull apart and then take up and around. And then you can see these are really cool. These little boxes are magnetic. So they cover the screws that you need to take off to remove the top piece. So, um, you know, they're taped on at the start, you remove the tape. I, I went right away. I wanted to see, uh, inside and then taking the top off. You see again, inside just as clean as the, uh, Missouri. And then you've got the, uh, you know, ESC receiver all bound up. And this one has three, three motors, I believe, in the back. Yep. So three screws driven in the back. And uh, again, all plugged in. You can see easy access to the rudder servo back there as well. So if you ever need to replace anything, you can do that with, with relative ease. But here it is. So the rigging is still up top. You just, you, that whole cover, all four stacks, and you can lift right from the stacks. I was able to get it right off. Just be nice and careful, and then place it on top. I was nervous doing it. And then there's only three places that you need to reconnect the rigging. This one down rigging piece, I, I, I wish I knew more <laughs> about what this was called. Like, I'm not sure if this was, you know, just, again, just support, or was... Were these actual like antennas I for the things? Video card is breaking. You know, because the line isn't there. <laughs> but the only ones you have to re so once you get the top part back on, you attach the rigging here, and then there's two that attach to the back mast um, that come off off that. That's it. So you just have to there's one, two, three. You take those off, lay them to the side. These two come with the whole top piece that comes off, and then this one I just you know, hung up here as it took off. But once you're in there, easy access. And again, you know, I always feel like if I breathe with my fat fingers, I'm going to hurt them. But 
I thought that was just really cool the way they did that with the, with the uh, magnets in there. So you don't have to worry about those going anywhere. Um, obviously, it's not going to be going super fast. I can't imagine, you know, any reason for anything to come off. But, you know, all the detail on this from the wood. Again, the wood decking on top is absolutely gorgeous. A lot of it's all metal, especially like the railing. That's all metal. So even if you were to hit it and dent it, you can, you can bend it back um, carefully. Uh, if you have to, but just looking at it, you know, even the flags were attached uh, on this one. You didn't have to do any sort of, you know, assembly. You just pull it out of the box. I'm putting batteries in my charger and it comes with a uh, 2,800 milliamp. Uh, I believe it's two. Actually, can you run over there and grab? It's way in the back there by the green screen. There's one battery. It's 2,800 2S, I believe it comes with. Is it 2S? Yeah. 2S pack. So it's 2S powered, more than enough power for what you're going to need. And then with this one, I, you know, if you wanted to go hard, I'm sure you could get one of the Henlong smoke units, probably get it inside, you know, drill some holes through there, you know, if you really want to go hard and get some, you know, steam action coming out. But that's the pack that coming with it. So if you wanted to grab a 5,000 2S or a six, if you wanted to drive this thing around for four hours at once, I'm sure you can do it. Um, but either way, even if you just took it and can you imagine I drop this thing? I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid to drop it. But like even the back just looks so, you know, just looks so good. The screws on the back. I'm just really impressed. Man, that just looks so cool. Just looks so cool. When I open the boxes, this was the one, obviously, when you see it, it's just, I don't know. I don't know why the Titanic has, you know, obviously, I guess we know why, but uh, it's just it's just still so cool. And to imagine now that this thing would be considered, right, so small compared to the modern day cruise ships. This is like a baby's toy. It's like a ferry now compared to that. But uh, it's awesome. Does it come with a scale iceberg? No, it does not. Um, you know, uh, too soon, man. <laughs> too soon. No, just kidding. Uh, but what do you do? Caution, do not operate when you're freezing. Yes, we don't want to do that. Um, we all know out of this comes this boat, little pass. We all know. Oh, no, the outcome of this boat. Man, it's history, you know? I mean... She's, uh, you know, it's historically accurate. It just looks so good. Just looks so good. So any questions about any of these things? Um, if you need to know, other than if it comes with a scale iceberg, uh, yeah, they would melt during shipping. He's right. Ah, ha, ha. You do have enough foam, though. Maybe if you crash an aircraft, you could turn some of the, uh, the foam into a nice floating iceberg that you can drive by if you want. Go to one condition. If James takes a few bucks and gets a haircut. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I didn't. Uh, I was busy. We were busy today. We had. Didn't make it into that. We had technical. Hair yeah, hair and makeup. They're off today. Um, but my hair is not the issue here. We're talking about models. My hair is. It goes where it wants to go. I'm just glad I got it. You know. <laughs> a scale iceberg with. Uh, you know, with yeah, attach a motor to it and have drive it around. You could try to avoid the Titanic. Could try to avoid it in the water. That would be funny. This ship is 200 scale, so um, we're gonna get tomorrow at the lake. We're gonna get all. You know, I want to get nice pictures of it, um, more updated pictures on the website for it. Uh, you know, out in the sunshine should be a nice sunny day tomorrow. So this is probably the first thing we're putting in the water. I think I'm going to do this first. We'll save the plane for the end. Cause I think this will go really quick. Once we get in the water, get the pictures, drive it around a little bit. You know, I don't think the video is going to be too long. I don't know if you guys want to see me drive an entire, <laughs> an entire pack yeah, <laughs> just for the whole video, for the whole song. She probably, she probably goes on for about five minutes in that song, in the Titanic song. One slow motion shot. You know. Yeah, right, Vic? I wear my hair for all those people, for my brothers who don't have it, who aren't able to wear it. I got to I gotta wear it for all of them. <laughs> but all around, super, super cool. And then I have one more, too, that I haven't gotten a chance to unbox. I have the um, Saint-Tropez, uh, which is much, I think it's only a 20th scale. It's a scale yacht. So I'm going to try to get that done today, take all three of them out to the lake. So... These videos will be coming out over the next week or so. 
um, if you guys see it in action. But again, look at not going to do too much. You know, nice nice turns. You know, I'll I'll open up the throttle just to see what it's like. But for the most part, just drive it back and forth and enjoy its beauty. Uh, not related to your current subject, but any new biplanes? Um, not that I know of. Not that I know of. I would love to see some. Uh, we haven't really done any uh, biplanes. You know, I always loved. You know, a retro series would be nice, right? That would be awesome. I would love to see some. Some of that. I, I have the neck. Other than the Nexa, like Tiger Moth, that's about the only biplane I can think of that we got. Uh, but I would love to see some World War One planes too coming out of free wing and flight line. That would be amazing if that could happen in the future. That would be great. Is a submarine in the future? EQ, I believe so. Um, I can 100% say probably yes, definitely. There will be submarines coming at some point. You know, a lot of these boats were supposed to be here a lot earlier. Um, you know, we had gotten them up on the website. Then COVID happened. This factory was one that had issues like many did and it just, everything got delayed. So um, a lot of that stuff now, we're starting to have fruition, you know, starting to come to fruition. So, you know, now that we're seem to be back in business as far as that goes, I think you'll definitely see more of those. But uh, Bill, if you're still out there, you might be able to answer uh, if you know for a fact. But I, I believe, you know, I remember last I had heard about it that that's in the plan. I just can't tell you when. But uh, I think we definitely see some submarines coming because why not? I mean, who wouldn't want to drive a submarine too? If you're into it, go get it. Especially if they look as good as this. I mean, how sweet would a submarine look sitting on your mantle? You know, we're all collectors, right? We don't just want to fly them and play with them. We just lot of we display them, you know. They're around your workshop. They're you just like looking at them, you know. Just I could sit here and just do, look at every little detail on this. It's just it's just awesome, you know. Nitro Bear, same as the biplane question. Triplanes, no different. Would love to see it, but I don't know about that. Uh, at least you know maybe at some point. You know, I mean, look how much motion, how many products, different products we got now. So more the merrier. If we can get some suppliers who can get some awesome biplanes and triplanes, I'm sure our purchasers and our product guys will be on it uh, in a heartbeat. I've always wanted one of those battleships, man. Grab it if it's there. I mean, if you got the money to do it, if you're into it, um, you're not going to be disappointed. You won't regret it for sure. I'll bring the... Uh I'll bring the Missouri back. Just have it next to it. Again, both 200 scale. So the size differences, you know, are apparent on there. But all around. I'm just honestly, I'm more nervous about these. I got to find a way. I think I'm going to take the foam. I saved the foam blocks because just getting them in my car, you know, I'm for, God forbid I hit the brakes or something like you can't just have them on this it'll slide if this fell over i i couldn't i, I would never forgive myself <laughs> i would never forgive myself so i'm gonna have to make sure they are uh weighted down somehow properly uh when i transport them you know i would say for you guys if you do purchase them you know save them like i cut that box off i'm gonna tape that box back up i'll probably put it back in the box with the foam and just bring the whole box that's how i transported it to jonal the uh the nagato last time because uh you don't need the you don't need the the main big foam but at least the the two ends that cover the front and the back uh in there it should sit and then it won't rock you know so that'll be awesome but yeah i mean how could you go wrong with that i mean if you're into if you're if you're a navy guy I mean, I want to see the Nimitz. They got a Nimitz there, too. Now, that one's, I think, 250 scale. But I can only imagine that that's, you know, if it's the same length as the details on it will be a lot finer. But, you know, man, I don't know, you know, it could be as big as this table. Like, there are some big boats out there. Just awesome. Just awesome. Yeah, right, Matt? That's, that's, that's exactly what I said when I opened it up. Like, wow, man, that's sick. I mean, all this stuff on here. And then we have, you know, patrol boats, cutters. I got the landing craft, which fits the 16th scale tanks. I mean, the, the stuff coming from Bancraft. And then you have your basic, you know, your race boats, your sailboats. You know, they're doing the whole, whole line of all different types of uh, ships and stuff for all the, um, 
you know, our lake goers and water, water fairs. Did you cover the battery placement on the battleship? Um, I haven't gotten there yet. For me, the battery placement's going to be dead center, right in the opening. So if you backtrack, or Alex, if you could skim on like either video, just get to the point where you see the internals. Um, you know, what I did on, on any of the other boats, I just used Velcro, stuck it right, right dead center because I didn't want to, you know, weight it. And then when I get it, when I get it in the water, you know, this happened with one of the boats. I got it in the water and it was leaning a little to the left. So I moved the battery and my ballast over a little bit to the right and taped it down. So now if you pause there, I don't know if you can do that. Like I'm going to put the battery off to the left, you know, right where you see the wires on the left. Battery is going to be right there, dead center at the start. And then I have, you know, I'm going to take a, just a big, one of the freezer Ziploc bags. So it's like the thicker Ziploc bag. I lay that right on, actually, I laid it right on top of the battery, and then I just pour the BBs in and sort of let them, because the bag allows the BBs to sort of spread out nice and evenly, and then I'll tape that bag down a little bit once, you know, while I'm doing this, while it's in, let's say, the bathtub, you know, once I know I have the weight where it needs to go and it doesn't look like it's going to lean, then I'll tape those down and keep everything secure, you know, in that spot, so, um, you know. I'll have to film. That's a good quick tip, I guess. How to ballast boats. So when I get them, when I get them back from the lake tomorrow, I'll probably film myself at some point. Do that, because um, it, it's very simple, though. Very simple process. It's you know, it's different than your CG. You really just don't want to have it leaning too much, you know, because then it just looks awkward when you have the when you have the boat when you're going, you know, you're going out straight and the whole boat's just like this. So you just you like know bring it over a little bit. Uh, what else do we got? Grand unique World War One biplane, stop with triplane. Yeah, man, I like World War One planes. I, I I find like we have the Tiger Moth, which I guess isn't really World War One, but um, that's one of my favorite planes to fly because I I've always liked relaxing flyers. You know, I like I like World War Two Warbirds are my number one favorite, but I, I like sometimes just have a nice relaxing those biplanes, those World War One planes. They don't go too fast. You know, it's great. Yeah, man, four mode, and then oh, let's show that. If you, I didn't, I don't think I got a good shot of that, Alex. If you just want to see, I didn't show the back, but you got double dual rudder on the bottom, and then the screws. And what's cool, like I don't know if this is scale. I don't know much about the Missouri history-wise, but you know, four, four blade, and then two five blades on the on the middle ones. So I don't know what the reasoning behind that would be. Uh, I have no clue. So I can answer if somebody can answer that or do a quick Google search to maybe find out why. But I thought that was interesting, something I noticed off the bat on it, but really cool. So then the, you know, the goal here, I want to put the bow, I'm going to put it, you know, I might name, just feel the weight with this one since it's like the Titanic is a lot wider, you know, here, a lot more distance from the top deck to the, where it's going to meet. But I'm going to try to just have the water line be right here. You know, when it sits nice and easy. I may not need ballast at all, so I'll report, I'll let you know uh, when we film it tomorrow. And I'll show, 100% show some footage, you know, unless it sinks. I guess if it sinks, then I'll, I'll, have, to, I'll have to show that. It depends on if it cracks in half. And... <laughs> but next, you know, next week we will, uh, you know, in next week's live show, next Friday will be our, our regular live show. Well, definitely. That's probably the first time you're going to see some of these. Uh, the footage of these will be next Friday. So that'll be awesome. Or a week, week from Friday. But either way, super, super cool, guys. So I just want to do a quick live for you here and, uh, you know, show off these. Show off the, the Hobby Plus crawlers, which are new to the site. We're excited about those. So if you're interested in those things, they're not too pricey. Um, they got a lot of great detail. And as I said, all the videos for those are on their product pages. So we're going to release them on YouTube, but you don't have to wait for us to release them. They're already technically viewable. If you just go to the video tab on the product page and you'd see all the scale, uh, all the spare parts, all the upgrade parts for the hobby plus, and then as well, check out the Bancroft lineup because these are very indicative of all the other types. So we've done the Nagato, you've seen the cutter now, seen the patrol boat. But, um, you know, you'd expect all of your Bancroft, especially the big warships like this, to be packaged. That's, that's very important. Packaged neatly 
and just look like they need to look. But if you do have an issue, of course, contact our customer service right away. We've got the best guys working for us there. And um, if you contact them right away uh, with an issue, they're going to help you out. You know, never wait. Just get on it if you see something and, uh, you know, they'll get it to you. But all around, just super cool, man. Can't... <laughs> I can't believe they even make this like the crap and like, I don't see how like it has to be handmade right like things are molded but all the detail is being put on by hand there's no other way to do it even the wood decking is like you know snapped together looks like you know looks like a minute I mean I've done a hardwood floor in my house once and it's <laughs> it's a pain in the butt um so I can only imagine it doing it on this scale uh is even crazier to me but um you know, and then the stacks just—I don't know what to say. It's just like it's—it's—it's—I'm like I'm uh, I'm speechless with these more so than I've ever been with like a free wing jet or like these are just—it's another level of detail and craftsmanship, um, just a whole nother side of the hobby, which is unbelievable. Yep, we got a Bismarck. We've got a lot of stuff. Titanic's gonna go viral once we do this. Titanic. <laughs> yeah. I, I people just lose it. I, I yeah, hope so. A couple of nice slow motion shots and green screen ourselves on the front of it holding each other. <laughs> That's, me and Alex were thinking of green screening us and then trying to <laughs> trying to put us on the front of the ship because they would have been right here, right? But see, now looking at this, I think it's, it's BS yeah, because they would have had rigging in, in the <laughs> way. They would have never been able to get to the front of the ship up there. So Titanic's a lie. <laughs> James Cameron, what are you James doing? Steven, you liar. What are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? We need the scale detail. They could have never got to the front of that boat like that. But actually looking at it, I wonder, like, you know, there's obviously some benches up there, but, you know, it's funny back then. It was really just a ship that took you around. The, obviously, there's a bar and dining car inside, and I guess all people must have did was smoke cigars, listen to music, and hang out. It's like there's no, you know, no shuffleboard on the deck. There's no, you know, think about everything that modern cruise ships have now. Um... It was really just, you know, your basic park benches are all around the top. So that's that's really funny. But um, all around, super cool, guys. So that'll do it for us today. I mean, we went about 45 minutes here. Um, wanted to get this, uh, you know, wanted to get this in front of you just to show you because I was so excited about them. And uh, as always, we'll be back next Friday, first Friday of every month with our typical live show where we go through the community um, posts. We'll have more obviously other types of products to show you hopefully i'm gonna have the twin otter flown because i'm gonna fly that tomorrow i'm excited so i'm maidening maidening that off the lake got my differential thrust going she's balanced she's ready to rock so fingers crossed i have a successful maiden um with that and uh as always guys thank you so much for joining i hope you noticed a lot more content coming out from us uh in all across uh, social last couple of last couple of weeks so expect more of the same um and we're gonna try to go live here now every week with something you know not the highly produced one we'll save that once a month because that does take a lot of uh work to do too much of we have to do too much other stuff to be able to do that level of production uh every week but for things like this flipping on the camera and talking to you guys and doing uh you know showing you the new stuff we got that's easy so we'll be definitely be doing more of that but overall, guys, thank you again so much for joining us. Matt, good to see you, man. Happy you uh, you jumped in. Miss you, dude. Funny we were just talking about you yesterday, but that's really cool that you're here. And uh, everyone else, thanks for tuning in. If you have any more questions, as always, just drop them on a video. We try to answer them all, uh, me and Wesley, uh, as we can. And if not, we'll see you uh, next Friday for a live show. All right, guys, be good.